Hello there! In this video we're gonna talk about Russian houses. Russians had been living in houses for centuries until they started building these high-rise apartment buildings in the cities. But I still feel like most Russians would want to live in a house, to have a sauna, to have a yard where they can grow tomatoes and cucumbers and have a huge kitchen to have family parties. Some of my friends are lucky enough to have them and they've been nice enough to let me film them. Let's take a look at some nice Russian houses. First house is located about 20 kilometers from Yekaterinburg. It's not a very big one. It's just uh, 150 square meters. It's a one-story house, but it has a summer house with a pool table and a sauna. It also has a ping pong table outside and a spacious garage where you can store a couple of ATVs. I mean, what else you gonna do when you have endless forest right in front of you? Of course you can go skiing, but riding an ATV is a whole nother game. Now let's take a look at another house, and to do that, we'll have to relocate to Moscow region. Oh, look at this fabulous house. I love the green Fujas lined up like this. The owner did a wonderful job on the landscape. Do you agree? The best thing about the house is that it has a hammock and a working place outside. So when the weather's right, in the summertime, you can work on your laptop outside. Inside, you got a spacious kitchen in the living room and lots of bedrooms. Of course, it has a Russian banya in a separate house. It has a greenhouse because Russians love gardening. They love growing veggies and berries and fruit. That's in their blood. Now let's take a look at another house. Back to Yekaterinburg. It's about 30 kilometers from the city. The coolest thing about this house is the location. It's right on the pond. If the weather's right, you can go for a swim in no time. Just a few steps away. The house has a basement with a ping pong table and of course a sauna and a tiny little pool to jump into to cool off after the sauna. You gotta have a sauna. The winters are cold, especially in the Urals. They get tons of strawberries here in July. I've tried them, they're so tasty. There's a greenhouse, there's a place for picnics. This house is really spacious. I think it's about 400 square meters. and it's located in such a beautiful area. Oh my God. If you ask me, are these houses typical for Russia? No, of course not. But everyone knows about the American dream. If there's a thing called Russian dream, I would assume it would mean having a house in the countryside with a sauna, and not just a sauna, but a Russian banya. You know, it's when you hit yourself or your friend with a white birch tree branch. It's hot, you can't stand it, and you pretend to be enjoying it. Just kidding, it's fun. And the yard to grow veggies, tomatoes and cucumbers. Russians love them. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me which one of the three houses you love the most. And if we had such a thing as Russian dream, what would it be? I hope you guys had fun. Stay tuned and we'll have more videos coming. Thanks for watching, bye.